Hello, can you solve this interesting problem? A rocket was launched and in 10 seconds it flew 5 kilometers away from the ground. What was the acceleration of the rocket? And what was the velocity at that height? Now you better pause the video to try to solve this problem by yourself because from next I'm gonna give you the solution. Okay, let's start. First, let's write what we know. We know that time is 10 seconds, we know the distance is 5 kilometers or 5000 meters, and we need to find the acceleration and we need to find what was the rocket speed after 10 seconds. So this is what we know and what we need to find. Now let's look at this formula. In this formula you can see that we have a vectors, but in this case we can consider that the rocket was going strictly vertical those five kilometers then we can just use modules of these vectors then this formula we can write like this if you don't remember about vectors its projections and, and modulus uh, i have attached a link in the description and the comment section you can watch about that so you can understand it better so with this formula we can calculate the speed of the rocket after 10 seconds the V0 is equal to 0, since the rocket launched from the ground and we started counting from that moment. Then the right side of this formula we can simply write as a acceleration multiplied by time. So let's call this equation number 1. We, we still cannot use this formula to find the speed after 10 seconds, because we don't know the acceleration. We, st we still need to find the acceleration. So we can use this well-known formula, distance equal average speed multiplied by time. Since the rocket doesn't have a constant speed, because it's constantly increasing, we have to use the average speed. So let's call this equation number two. To find the average speed, we can use this formula. So here V0 also equals zero. And instead of this speed, we can just put this multiplication, A multiplied by T. Then we will get uh, this expression. Now let's call this equation number three. So now we can put this fraction to equation number two. Instead of v average, we can put here this fraction. Then we will get this equation. From this equation, we can find the acceleration. It will be equal to multiplied by s divided by t squared. And if we put these values to this equation, we are going to get this fraction. If we divide numerator by denominator, we are going to get our value for the acceleration. Now that we know the value for the acceleration, we can calculate the speed. So all we need to do is multiply acceleration by time. And if we multiply it, we, will, we are going to get our value for the speed. It is 1000 meters per second. It means that the, the rocket reached this speed in 10 seconds. So this is our answer. Leave in a comment if you were able to solve this problem. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more physics videos.